Oh. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Lifelong Purity's Live Your Passion Hula Rally. My name is Marilyn Marshall, and I am an Hula seeker. Our team is pleased to welcome you to our rally today. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine I'd be standing here to speak for more than 10 minutes. But as Gary Young always said, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. I found my edge. On September 22nd, we attended the Boss Up event here in Dauphin. My family, Elf and I, had to leave early because we were heading out to Nipawa to catch the home opener. These are major events in our household. So while we're at the hockey game, I get this text from Melanie. My first reaction is, who, me? Then I felt very honored to have been asked by this leadership group that they thought I could handle this. Then my brain kicked in and said, obviously I need some clarity. What did I just say yes to? But I promise not to bore you, as I'm thrilled and excited to share what I know about ULA. So who here knows what ULA is? Anyone here think they're living an ULA life? We're all striving for it. When your life is in ULA, you're in the zone. Everything seems to be going your way. You're covering maximum ground with minimum effort. I hope by the time I'm through, you will have some tools to help you focus as you juggle all the key areas of your life. Kind of like spinning a whole bunch of plates in the air and not letting them come crashing down. Much like a circus performer spins several plates, we have home, life, career, and so much more. It can be very overwhelming. So often, I've done it myself, we wish we could clone ourselves. Unfortunately, we don't have an oil for that. So it's about focus, priorities, lower stress, and more balance. Everyone feels mediocre at something. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed. We need, need more time in our day, and we just don't know how we're going to make things work. It's about living an inspired life, one that you define. In the pursuit of ULA, you will likely become a different person. The process will change you into someone who is more authentic and more honoring of your own needs versus constantly suppressing who you are and what you want because it doesn't fit in with the world's definition of who you should be. So I'm gonna date myself here a little bit. When I was a young girl, around 10, 12 years old, we didn't have all the technology and gadgets that people have now. <laughs> So a favorite gift to girls at that time was a diary, or what we called an autograph book. Now this wasn't something we ripped into Winnipeg and got celebrities to sign or that kind of stuff. It was a book that people made comments in, quotes, sayings, that type of thing. So of course you got mostly rude and salty ones, you know, from your brothers, roses are red, violets are blue, I'm good looking, what happened to you? You know, <laughs> those kinds of things. But my mom, she wrote in this book, to thine own self be true, and thou shalt not be false to anyone. What the heck? I'm 10. What does that mean? Uh, if I kept you lying, you're in deep trouble? I had a hard time with that one at first, but my mother was very wise. She's that voice in my head, the one I hear every day. And though she's been gone for 29 years, she's still teaching me. She was Ula way before we knew what Ula was. I know with the passing of time, life experiences and personal development understand what she was trying to tell me. Stay true to your own self and you shall not be false to anyone else. Values we should all adhere to. So I'd like to introduce you to a couple of guys that we've had the opportunity to meet and who are the creators of ULA, living a balanced life in an unbalanced world. Dr. Troy Anong, the ULA guru, and Dr. Dave Brown, the ULA seeker, are the ULA guys. When we were at Grand Convention this past June, we had the privilege to attend their workshop. Dr. Dave's story was extremely impactful. How one can go from being on top of the world, great job, financial security, and that worth of over two million, married to a wonderful woman with five children, to loss of job, deep in debt, and divorced. Once you hit rock bottom, there's nowhere else to go but up. So by the end of the presentation, there wasn't a dry eye in the place, but we all stood, understood the message. Be grateful, have faith. With the help of the ULA guru, Dr. Troy, 
Dave has been able to get back on track and is working his way to a more balanced existence. The Ula Guru shares this philosophy. A car is designed, yeah, this is Adam Green's new car. A car is designed so you can see both in front of you and behind you. They provide a rear view mirror, which is small but adequate. The front windshield is large and unobstructed. It's designed so you can easily see what's ahead. He said the view ahead and behind are designed to scale. You do not need to look, you, pardon me, you do need to look back from time to time, but only briefly. The majority of your energy and focus, however, should be on the windshield in front of you. So together they wrote an international best-selling book series called ULA, Find Balance in an Unbalanced World. They are currently traveling around the United States in a vintage VW surf bus, inspiring hope by collecting one million dreams. That's my son putting his dream on there and providing one million meal meals to children in need. But what's the connection to Young Living, you ask? Gary and Mary spent many hours traveling from destination to destination, and like me, they didn't have much use for technology, no podcasts or audiobooks. Mary would read to Gary, and while traveling on one of their many trips, she read the Ula book to Gary. Gary fell in love with their concept and was inspired to design two oils, Ula Grow and Ula ba Balance, to pair with the book. This was the beginning of an amazing relationship. In 2013, he created the Infuse 7 kit to make personal development and pulling the best out of you a multi-sensory experience. Oils work by hitting the limbic globe of the brain when inhaled. That's the emotional control center. They pair perfectly with the emotional side of finding balance in your life. By revealing how to remove the stress related to life out of balance, they unlock the greatness that is inside all of us. A better you makes a better family, a better community, and ultimately, a better world. So let's explore this message. ULA is a life that is balanced and growing in the key areas of health, finances, career, relationships, and well-being. It can be a noun or a verb. It can be a destination or a feeling. This is my ULA. It can be as complex as life growing in fitness, finance, family, field, faith, friends, and fun, the seven apps of ULA. Or as simple as a sunset, a quiet book on the beach, or a special moment with a child. It's a place we all shoot for. We strongly recommend that when you go home to take the ULA wheel test. Simply go to ulalife.com slash step one. The ULA wheel points out your weakest link. It's a place to start, and that's the oil that you should start with. Essential oils are the most powerful part of the plant. They are distilled from shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, fruit, rinds, resin, and herbs. They consist of over 100 different natural organic compounds. Some are steam distilled, some are resin tapped, and some are cold pressed. But they all have an effect on the human body. There are three ways to use them, aromatically, topically, and internally. Young Living has an entire line of vitality in the U.S., or plus oils in Canada, of internal oils. But none of the ULA oils are approved for internal use, so protocols we give you today will be for aromatic or topical use. Founder Gary Young specifically formulated these oils for your nose. The olfactory senses are the strongest and the oldest centers of the brain to recall memory. The oils are formulated to anchor your goal to action and to your affirmation. They are designed to push out bad thoughts and bring in good thoughts. So as we said earlier, oils have access to the limit load of the brain. That is why you feel calm, happy, or at peace when you diffuse them. If you need the opposite of an emotion, the first place to turn to is your oils. Get them in your diffuser and breathe. If you're not near your diffuser, inhale them. Place a drop in the palm of your hand, Rub your hands together, say an affirmation, whatever your doubt or fear, and say the opposite. Place your hands together and cup them over your face and breathe in three times. Take a moment and put yourself in a place of gratitude. I'm sure you all have some oils today, so we've already inhaled a few, but if you feel the need, grab an oil, give it an inhale. After you're done inhaling it, place your hand on the back of your neck and rub that oil in. If you want to mix oil and grow or ULA balance with one of the infused oils, place one drop of grow or balance to three drops of the infused oils. 
and I'm doing Ula Grove today. So let's dive into the infused Ula oils. We are going to use Sarah Harnish's script along with paraphrases from an interview with Gary Young and the Ula guys. So if you haven't picked up this book, we highly recommend it. Balance the game plan with Ula. Before we go into the seven Fs, it's paramount that you're vulnerable and honest as you identify things that hold you back and things that propel you forward. We call these ULA blockers and ULA accelerators. Blockers are the junk that keeps you from showing up fully, thinking of yourself as worthy, or asking for what you need in order to be happy. I'm gonna go through them all. Unrealistic fear can paralyze you and prevent you from taking actions that will move you forward. A complete disregard of fear can expose you to risks that can take you down. As long as your gut instinct isn't telling you there's real danger ahead, stay the course, focus on the bigger picture, get all the information, or practice what you need. Then take action in spite of these fears. Push through in order to get your life to a better place. We all make mistakes and we've all said and done things that we regret. When those actions hurt ourselves or other people, we feel guilt. Sometimes we feel guilt for something that was never our fault, emotional guilt. Examples of this are if you were physically or emotionally abused, your parents are divorced or other such situations that are beyond your control. Persistent guilt becomes a real Uma blocker that can really hinder you from the life you want. Feeling that you don't deserve to live a fulfilling life or that you've ruined your chance. This self-talk hinders progress. Experiencing guilt is not a crime. Choosing to carry guilt with you every day is. Forgiveness is the key. Choose gratitude over guilt and learn from your experiences. As Mayo Angelo says, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. Being persistently or violently angry affects not only you, but everyone around you and can bring consequences that you will live with forever. If you harbor anger and you let it slowly eat away at your soul, it will destroy your chances of an Ula life. Studies say that just five minutes of anger impairs your immune system for as long as six hours. Children who witness persistent anger in their home will suffer chronic anxiety, hyperactivity, low self-esteem, and depression. Stop being a victim and put anger into perspective. Find out what triggers your anger and how to appropriately vent your anger. Clear the anger through positive new habits. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. Negative self-talk hidden in your subconscious mind will begin to say, you don't deserve this. You're not worth it. You're not smart enough. You unknowingly begin the process of self-sabotage. Over time, your subconscious mind, which runs your body system, takes information and helps you make decisions, it becomes programmed to act in your best interest. It protects you from harm. So every time you fail miserably, your subconscious mind reacts to that painful disappointment by saying, okay, we're not doing that again. Stop believing hurtful comments and belittling remarks. Change your self-talk to words of praise, encouragement, and acknowledgement. Stand up for your needs, celebrate your achievements, and stay focused on your dreams. Anyone at the top of their game has one thing in common. They are not lazy. They are passionate about their life and worked very hard to get to the top. On the path to Ula, there is no room for lazy. It cannot be part of your life in any way, shape, or form. No one likes to be called or categorized as lazy, but if we're honest, we all have our moments. Whether it's procrastination or straight-up avoidance, we all have things in our life that if we dig in and overcome, will add value and more balance to our life. Stay connected to your larger purpose, break down larger goals into smaller attainable steps, and do the worst first. Lazy blocks Ula, what lazy want, the discipline get. 
It's normal to compare your life to others and say, I like to have whatever. That's perfectly normal emotion. Jealousy is wanting what others have. Envy is worse than jealousy. Envy is wanting what others have and wanting them not to have it. Envy can suck the joy out of life. Constantly judging yourself against some impossible standard of living or random level of success can rob you of the joy you get from the awesome aspects of your own life. You will be happier, less stressed, and more authentic if you focus on what you already have in your life. Small thinkers focus on competition, while big thinkers focus on collaboration. Combine forces with others instead of being envious you can make great things happen in the world. If you lack focus, you cannot endure what it takes to balance and grow. Focus becomes an ULA blocker if it takes one of two forms, a lack of focus. Today's world offers infinite opportunities to waste time. Instead of overscheduling and working on a broad array of tasks, focus your time and energy like a laser beam on just those things that will get you closer to your goal. And misdirected focus. This is where addictions live. Shopping, alcohol, drugs, gambling, social media. These are ULA destroyers. Focus on what you need to do versus what you want to do. We all have the same amount of minutes. Use them wisely. Be careful that you're not making decisions today that can steal years from your future. You can't get time back. Delayed gratification is very ULA. Focusing on the larger goal will give you the strength you need to sacrifice now for a win later. Now, ULA accelerators. These are attributes that help you balance out that wheel. They move you forward faster. If you're stuck or discouraged at the juggling, focus on one of these areas. They can pull you out of a rut. Be grateful for love where you are, where you want to go, and where you have been. Be grateful for every part of your journey. Consider the really bad stuff. Is it possible to be grateful for, for painful or hurtful events? The hidden gifts from these so-called bad things can take months, years, or a lifetime to be revealed. The faster you see the purpose and become truly grateful for the experience, the more doors open. Gratitude not only helps us stay balanced during life's crazier moments, it actually brings about the support, opportunity, and abundance that keeps us balanced. In the Ula Book for Woman, which is one of my favorite books, there's a story on page 220 that is the ultimate definition of gratitude. I strongly encourage you to read it. I'm pretty sure that Ryan Strasinski of the Humboldt Broncos never imagined the events that happened to him on April the 6th, 2018. But he has shown such courage and amazing perseverance and is indeed someone who is living a life of gratefulness and faith. Love is the lightning bolt of all ULA accelerators. It is so powerful. Love is an incredible force for good in the world at large, both when you are loving others and especially when you yourself are receiving love. Pure love comes without conditions and pure love moves you to Ula. Love yourself. Give the best example of how to love you by loving yourself first. Unconditionally love others. Love well. While your protective instinct is strong, sometimes you just have to let people stand on their own, lose their way, fail. It's the only way that they can learn to be a smarter, stronger, wiser person. To give and receive love produces passion. Rarely will you find someone who has succeeded in attaining the life of their dreams without a strong work ethic and discipline. ULA is not for the undisciplined. It is doing what must be done, even if you don't want to do it. Battling through the daily grind, putting in extra hours, using sheer force of will, and above all, doing things consistently. Try to live with the idea that karma is a very real thing. Put out what you want to get back. Under promise and over deliver, adhere to what is right. Be wary of stepping over the line, especially the gray line, to speed up the process of getting ahead. It happens to the best of us. 
we want it so badly we use justification to act in a way that is out of integrity to get us to our goals faster this will catch up with you and it will end badly we have always raised our voice that life is about choices and consequences you reap what you sow choose wisely if life were a card game passion is the trump card if your passion is strong enough it has the ability to trump many ULA blockers like fear, anger, and laziness. Tapping into your passion will empower you to overcome these blockers. Discover your true passion, not someone else's plan for you. Passion is the fuel that will help you achieve your goals. Anticipate roadblocks and let passion carry you through. It's a quiet confidence. Park your ego at the door. You can learn the importance of humility in two ways, by practicing it, or the hard way, by living it. Ever heard of pride before the fall? Learn humility or be humbled, your choice. Listen more than you speak, be quick to deflect praise, and accept the burden of responsibility when things don't go right. It's about having a purpose that is tied to something greater than yourself. Being respectful and kind, putting others first, being transparent and responsibly owning the mistakes you make will give you a quiet confidence. It does not make you weak. Humility allows you to work through challenging seasons with grace and your head up looking for the next opportunity. <clears throat> Wisdom is more than just knowledge. There are a lot of very smart people who are not wise. Wisdom is unique because it leans heavily on logic and little on emotion. You can become wise at a young age if you are open to learning from the experiences of others. We need to listen. Listen to wise counsel. Listen to your own intuition and not make the same mistake twice. Life is a great teacher. If you listen, your experiences can direct your path. If you're willing to learn, you may be able to avoid pain along the way and if you're open, the opportunities available to you may be bigger than anything you could imagine. So once you've taken a look at the ULA wheel, you will know your strengths and weaknesses and how to balance these seven areas. Try the oils in the kit and see how you feel at the end of your journey. I'm going to start with an affirmation for each of these areas along with some pointers, where to apply the oils, and Gary Young's explanation of how he created these blends. I really want to take a moment to thank the decorating team. They did an awesome, outstanding job with the ULA theme, and if you notice on your tables, those little affirmations are all there for you to read. So we're going to start with fitness. I am fit, healthy, disciplined, and strong. Your physical health affects everything you do in every area of your life. Fitness is about feeling good, looking good, being healthy and being productive. It is a healthy body and a healthy mind. It's how you move and what you eat. An easy rule to apply to fitness, eat less than you burn or burn more than you eat. Simple logic. Your mindset is the seat of all you do. Most choices are based on emotions and not always physical responses. So take time every day to take care of your body, however that works for you. Walk, go to the gym, play sports. The time you invest in yourself will make you feel better, which will make your confidence increase and lead to a more productive life. Move yourself to the top of your list. You can't help others if the well is dry. The fitness blend is specially formulated to uplift, energize, and give you the inspiration to achieve your fitness goals. Rub a few drops directly on the area that needs support before a strenuous workout. Following your workout, apply it again. Gary Young said, when I'm making a blend, I first go to what is the need. Because fitness is a big part of my life and I know how important it is in everyone else's life, but I also have listened to enough people over the years complain about the issue when they start to go on the, to the gym or to get into an aerobic program or a Pilates program, whatever it is, to start in fitness. I look at what they complain about. Let's face it, most people get into it because they are out of shape. People who are fit don't get into fitness, they're already there. So when they start, they get aches and pains and sore muscles and cramps, they just get discouraged and they quit. 
This was my objective. What can I put together that will eliminate problems that they will encounter when they start a program? Cypress is for security, Cystus is calming, Basil restores alertness, peppermint, black pepper, and nutmeg are energizing. Finance. I am financially free and living abundantly. This means your personal finance, all income, spending, debt, charitable giving, saving, and investing. The rule, spend less than you make. As your finances stabilize, you'll have more freedom to do generous and anonymous giving. Money in the hands of good people leads to good deeds. Debt is not compatible with the ULA life and is a major stress. Money fights and money stress is the number one reason for divorce and marriages. Start taking steps to improve your finances. Be a good steward of the money the Lord has trusted you with. This blend is formulated to encourage positive emotions and increase feelings of abundance. It brings about clarity and alertness. So he says to use finance on your triceps and forearms before a week to help strengthen your motivation. Gary's words, when I made finance, I had the experience of 20 years with abundance. I looked at finance to bring a little more balance to it, having more years of looking at life and people. I really wanted to look at what we needed. One of the things I did in finance was to go first with frankincense. It's a different approach. The reason I did was because we have such a, such a stigmatism about money. There's all this attitude about money being evil. The Bible doesn't say money is evil. It says the lust for it is wrong. I decided to use frankincense to break through the stigmatism that's been created for years. I put gathering in to help focus and bring all of our thoughts together. When you're looking at improving your finances, if you want a raise in your job or a promotion or a bonus, you want to be focused on what you're doing. I put humility in because I watch people all the time start to make money and they change. You don't know who they are. We're not supposed to change with money. We're supposed to become more humble because we have more power. I have watched people who start climbing the ladder of success and no one wants to be around them. I put orange in because when you're making money, you want to be happy. Family. I am unconditionally loving, patient, and respectful. Family relationships are powerful and complicated. Harness pure love from healthy family relationships. Identify toxic relationships and deal with them. Establish proper boundaries. Offer forgiveness or confront the issue. Feelings of worth can flourish in an atmosphere where individual differences are appreciated, mistakes are tolerated, communication is open, and rules are flexible. The kind of atmosphere that is found in a nurturing family. There are varying levels of family circles. The inner circle consists of your closest loved ones. The second layer should be filled with members who keep track, who you keep track of, but don't necessarily include in your everyday communication or decisions. The last circle is your outer circle. These are your distant relatives, ones you don't really know what's going on with them. If a member of this group is toxic to you, don't let them into your inner circle. Powerful emotions tend to drive your responses and decisions the closer someone is to you. Adjust your emotions to fit the event by maturely and lovingly process the interaction that arises. And here's a tip. If you're not working on your marriage, you're working on your divorce. Love well, suit up, commit. This oil was specifically formatted to support feelings of unconditional love, patience, and respect. This blend helps to uplift, calm the mind, and may help control negative feelings. Use topically on your neck to help with vibrational connections. This will balance your emotions around others. Gary Young says, this has been my biggest challenge, trying to find balance in my family. I look back over my life and I see some things I could have done better. But when you're trying to make a living for your family, sometimes you get so dialed into your work that you don't pay attention to the little things that are really important. There was more feeling that went into the development of family than any of the other blends. I could see Mary, Joseph, and Jacob when I was making it. I brought all those feelings together. What I reached for first was inner child. When we were dialed into just working, we block everything out because we think it's okay. 
But we don't stop to think that maybe there is something going on emotionally that we're missing. What helps us to tune into our kids is our inner child and recognizing our inner emotions. Those emotions need to be respected. I put lavender in next because I wanted to bring balance to it. I didn't want inner child to take us too deep. Rose geranium brings peace. It's good for liver support. When we get angry, we build lots of toxins in the liver. Ylang Ylang compliments rose geran geranium for the masculine feminine energy that we have. Cedar wood is a conifer tree that is anchoring and grounding. It also opens us so we can receive more and do more. That means we can open our arms to our family, take them in, and keep them under our umbrella of protection. By putting pine and cedar wood together, you get a balance so one doesn't overpower the other. Frankincense is for spiritual anchor. No matter what we do, our faith must be the center. Field. I am pursuing my purpose in life. Field is your career, your profession, or your vocation in life. It's how you spend your day and how you provide, whether it's raising children full-time or out in the workforce in a cubicle. The rule, love it or leave it. If you're operating in your comfort zone and are never being stretched, it's time to evaluate if it's the best place for you. You will spend one-third of your life at work. Make it something you love rather than a means to pay the bills. Many of us aspire to our dream job. The field blend has been formulated to encourage feelings of self-worth that may help you reach your potential. Rub a drop on the back of your neck for greater clarity and stimulation. Use this oil as a general pick-me-up during the day. Rub onto muscles before or after a strenuous workout. <clears throat> Gary says, you've got people that get up in the morning hating their job. You have people coming home mad because of their attitude or how they were treated, and they bring that home to the family, and the family becomes the recipient of that attitude. Then you have people who don't want to work because of the energy on the job. When I started looking at field, what does that mean? It means our environment, the total terrain around us. I wanted to start on an oil that works with the brain. Cardamom. Frankincense I put underneath cardamom. It is so important when I'm blending to understand human reaction and the oils. Because if I put frankincense on top, like I did with finance, then I have a whole different characteristic and function energetically. I laid frankincense underneath the cardamom so that it was the spiritual base underneath the physical emotion of dealing with life in general. I always want to have a piece of spirituality in there to keep the perfect balance. Present time was put in for us to be happy with our family and our job. We have to think forward. We spend too much time thinking about what we did last year. I want people thinking forward by being in the present time. When a person wants to improve their life, they have to believe in themselves. You can't empower yourself or improve or step up or live your dream if you don't start believing in yourself. So I put believe in that. <coughs> Faith. I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. Faith is your belief system. It is your understanding of why you are here your purpose. How you see your place in this world is something you need to explore to attain Ula. As you grow in your faith, you will be more content and have a clearer purpose in this world. It's not about you. It's about servant-led leadership. Biblical values, integrity, gratitude, the meeting, the needs of others. When you come from a place of faith, there is honor in your workplace. Look at your actions through this lens. Lots of people are searching for why, especially when things go bad. If you've ever asked yourself, what is the meaning here? What am I supposed to learn from this? Faith is the answer when logic doesn't explain what just happened. Of course, not every church, religion, or spiritual community will be a good fit for you. Your beliefs are your beliefs. But the point is to believe in something bigger than yourself and do it boldly. Listen to that voice, the voice that says fear is stupid and your dreams are worth it. The voice that says you are stronger than you can ever imagine. Listen to it and go get it. The faith blend is formulated to help you feel grateful, humble, and fully secure in your place in this world. 
Faith is perfect to rub on your wrists or drop one drop on the crown of your head to give you a feeling of being grounded and secure when going into the public or to a party where you may be nervous. Gary Young says, it's the same thing with all of my blends. Every time I have a project or an objective I'm working on, I go back inside myself. I try to put myself in the place of other people. I ask, what will be the most powerful to stimulate and bring that out in a person? With faith, we're looking at the oils that were traditionally used by Christ. Frankincense number one, myrrh number two, and balsam oil number three. Even though a lot of people don't understand, balsam is the oil that was brought to the Christ child that was called gold. When we go back to the Aramaic translations and the Sanskrit scrolls, it was called liquid gold. When we went further back in the research, the liquid gold was balsam oil. Those three were what was brought to Christ for balancing, stabilizing, and promoting the feeling of faith, confidence, and anchoring to the Creator. Friends, I am blessed with empowering, healthy friendships. A social circle is vital to our well-being. It's as important as you advance in Ula to expand and improve your friend base. <laughs> Lots of people want to ride with you in a limo, but what you want is someone who will take the bus with you when the limo breaks down. Again, you need to create circles. Your inner circle, three to five of your closest friends, the ones you spend the most time with and the most energy on. Friendships that have stood the test of time. You've seen the good, the bad, and stayed friends through it all. Next is your crew. These are the people based on mutual interests or forced interactions, but still provide fun times and a sense of connection. Keep the drama out. Your next circle are your acquaintances. These are your social media connections, workplace buddies, old high school friends, your husband's tribe. While they may not be major influencers, they give your life dimension. How many friends do you need? That's a personal choice. What matters is the quality of these friendships. Stay connected, unfriend, unfollow, delete toxic relationships. Most important, be a great friend who other people will want to add to their lives. Enrich others. Be a good listener. Bring something to the relationship other than just a common interest. Friends has been formulated to encourage feelings of self-worth, empowerment, confidence, and awareness. Friends is good to rub on the back of the wrists when you are studying or taking a test. Gary Young says, you want to have something that when you put it on, everyone will be attracted to you. No matter how hard you've been working, you still want to smell good. Also, your friends don't want to be around you if you don't have a good attitude. What I wanted with friends was to create the energy of harmony, because everyone has different energy and everyone comes together. Sometimes different personalities bump up against each other. Harmony helps to just harmonize that and mellow it out so all personalities to come, can come together without bumping and clashing. If you get on the inner child level, everyone can play. With friends, it's all about association, acceptance, and being in harmony. And finally, fun. I am pursuing the joys of my life. Fun is whatever activity or hobby you are personally passionate about. The psychological effect that fun has on your body, mind, and spirit. Unwinding with friends, laughing, taking time off for leisure and trips can literally change your physical and mental state for the better. For you sciencey people, fun reduces cortisol, the stress hormone, which makes it easier to cope with nerve-wracking situations. It also boosts serotonin, the brain chemical that regulates mood, memory, and sleep. This reduction in your stress level actually reduces mental strain and the physical drain on your body, leaving you more energetic and clear-headed with better concentration and focus. Most important is the impact of the, on your key relationships. Sharing good times with others helps you form bonds and social connections, one of the fundamental needs of humans. 
guys they've mastered this act of disconnecting and having fun women not so much and there's another example of the differences between men and women. <laughs> The key is to plan, schedule, commit, and figure out how to include fun, whatever that is for you, into your daily routines. But remember, don't use fun to avoid the tasks you have to do. None of us knows how many days we have left on this amazing planet, so take time to enjoy life every day. Quit waiting for someday, and don't feel guilty. There are so many things I should be doing, etc., etc. You deserve this time. You've earned it, and it's good for you and those around you. Enjoy it. The blend has been formulated to promote uplifting, revitalizing, and euphoric emotions. Its fragrant aroma boosts self-confidence that can enhance the pleasure of pursuing the joys of life. Rub directly and literally using a carrier oil on your thighs and morning, thighs morning and night. He was a little scary there, I guess. <laughs> Avoid using in the morning or sunbathing that day and also used to smooth the skin. Gary says, for oils to make fun, tangerine. Everyone loves the smell of orange, but tangerine has more of an exotic fragrance to it, a little more exotic harmony in the frequency that just elevates. Tangerine brings a sense of security. When you are plain, you need support with nutmeg, myrtle you want to have to have fun. You've got to keep an inner consistent balance. It's critical. So these are the infused oils developed for Ula. Remember, you may be working on a certain emotion, but sometimes your body will tell you something else. Go with your gut. If you are strongly drawn to a certain oil, your body has insight and instinct and knows what it wants. You can supercharge the effect of the oil if you drive it in with Ula Grow or Ula Balance. A drop of Copaiba placed on after will also magnify the effect. So Ula Balance is designed to amplify your ability to focus on passion, behavior, and health. It's a blend of 23 oils to promote calmness and balance. It helps support mental fatigue and balances emotions. It helps you process giving and receiving, promote strong relationships, helps with irritability and to let go of negative feelings. Put a drop under your pinky finger on the outside bone of your hand and inhale. Take a deep breath and know you've got this. There's more than one path to Ula. Sometimes you will find yourself in a season of difficulty, whether it's financial trouble, divorce, unemployment, a health crisis, or a family member whose train wreck existence is impacting your life. That's your season to work through, emerging on the other side both wiser and better equipped to resume your path. If life has you feeling battered but hopeful, realize where you are right now is simply where you are, not who you are. You are designed for greatness and purpose. Your challenges don't define you, they're just part of your journey. I'm gonna put a plug in here now for the Young Living Foundation. So as most of you know, this is a passion of mine, sharing what the foundation is all about. We have a table set up at the back with some amazing gifts, everything Ula. The seven infused oils, Ula Balance, Ula Grow, Ula Books, and more cool gifts. The most amazing thing about this is that all the money raised today at that table is going to go directly to the foundation. So stop by the table, learn more, give generously. Thank you for investing in you today. I want to leave you with one thought. Change starts with a simple commitment. What is the one thing that if you committed to changing it today, holds the power to completely transform your entire life. That one thing is called your ULA One. You've all got these in front of you. On the second page is your ULA One. Write it down. Read it daily. If it's a large goal, set smaller progressive goals to build momentum on the way to achieving it. You only move from one place where you are if you set attainable goals and take action. <coughs> In the end, your life will not be defined by your name, your title, or your status. It will be defined by how you lived, loved, and served others. Be grateful, have faith.